Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the quarter here with my boy, Chef Jason Peru. And today we're gonna have an incredible experience out here. We're gonna basically try some fruits, cook a lime, right? We're gonna bust a lime. That is just your gathering with good friends and just synergizing and just having fun, man. Drinking, cooking, liming. Liming. That's what it is about. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here with our good friend, Schultz. Schultz. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. All right, so what are we doing? Well, today we're gonna give you a treat vibe of Cora. What drinks, eats, the vibe, organic food, cooking, and when you go, you'll see our main menu course. Everything possible that you want. We're gonna have some crazy stuff today. We're gonna have some armadillo, we're gonna have some iguana. But first, we're gonna start off with some fruits, right? All right, let's go. Plantain. So here he has so many different variations of fruits. So we have lime, grapefruit, tangerine, mandarin. Look over here. We have guava. Oh, you have guava as well? Yeah. Starting the rain, but obviously we're in a rainforest, so you're gonna expect that. Oh wow, look at this. So open like this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good, but it's still a bit, a bit sour. Break my fast with some guava. Mm-hmm. Mm. As you get to the center, it becomes very sweet. Amazing. Good. Delicious. So you can try some tangerine. Beautiful. Natural. Mm-hmm. Some seeds. Mm. 200 different type of fruit trees in here. Any kind of type of fruit you think about we have. Watch out of you, David. Wow, guys, look at this view. Is it a coconut? Is it a climb? Yeah. Uh. Amazing. Cutting it up. Yeah. Fresh coconut. Okay, let's do this. So refreshing, so amazing. I mean, Shulsan's is really pro prolific as you would see a bunch of fruits, but when you could just walk out and just cut a coconut fresh and just have it like that, what we refer to as Portugal's, different parts of the world they're referred to as clementines. These are intensely sweet. It's like an orange and clementine mixture. Amazing citrus, we make juices with this. You just put it in your mouth. Spell the seed. Intensely sweet, amazing. It's probably the best juice you'll ever have in your life when you juice this. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sweet, a little sour. You eat everything except the seed. Mm -hmm. And these are they're in little segments, mm -hmm. so they're really brilliant, especially for garnishes. You put them inside of salads also. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. So just dive amazing. in, right? Yeah. Dive in there. Look at the color of this boy. I know. It's just mesmeric, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. You could actually. Feel the boost of the fibers and mm -hmm. as they do. This is still pods of juice. Yeah, as soon as you bite into these pods, they explode like gushers. Mm. Mm. Healthy, healthy living. Super healthy. Wow. This is like a morning for you. Right? You get up, get up and just have some fruit. This is relaxation. Mm -hmm. Any problems that you have in life, anything, you come up here and you relax with nature. Mm. For natural medication mm. for stress. Quarry River and the vicissitudes up on this side, brother. Cooking. <laughs> Liming, chilling, just yes. enjoying good food and good people. Good company, good fruits. I could do this all day, guys. Out here in the middle of the rainforest, bite into a grapefruit. Mm hmm. So natural, so delicious. Mm. So healthy. Look at that, look how pink it is. Nice and ripe. So we have over 100 fruits to try, and we've only tried three. <laughs> so it looks like an orange lime. Correct. It's drying up a little bit now, but grafted. Mm -hmm. So basically, grafted, it's, huh? it's yeah. probably two species mixed together. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a cross between a lime mm -hmm. and orange. So it's a bit dry now. Yes, because it's now finishing. Ah, oh, it's coming out of season. Look at that. Just pop it and go up. So natural. It's nice though. I mm. love it. Oh wow. That's the beauty about a lot of our fruits, you know? They're so unique in, in nature, but then they're grafted. So you get something really distinct, especially based upon the, you know, the whole botanical aspect of how people rear them and grow them and how they care for the fruits. Mm-hmm. This is epic. I truly love this experience. Just walking through this beautiful plantation, sucking on <laughs> different fruits. When you're done, biodegradable. Just drop it. Right there. So there's only six acres of land here. Yeah. That's that's where all the fruits are. So I heard on the agenda today we have a fish broth, which is our staple soup here in Trinidad and Tobago. We're gonna be doing some curried goat, as well as a chicken pilau, that's our rice and peas and chicken this year, staple here. 
and I have some boys. We're coming to do some curry iguana as well as curry tattoo. Host of provisions. Curry iguana. Yeah. Yes. That's that lizard that's on the tree. <laughs> Don't it's, worry. It's, it's, we know what the liguana is. We call it wild meat in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, do you? Yeah, so like armadillo will tattoo. Yeah. It's armadillo. So what we have here is actually pomerac. It's a sort of a waxy apple and it's bright pink. It comes into season around February, March each year. And this is brilliant for just as eating as it is. You can make chows with it just like how you've learned pineapple chows, but we also make a pomerac wine with it, which is like a fermented beverage. This is really nice and sweet when it matures. At the same time also, it could also be sort of mid-ripe and you can do a host of different dishes with it. I do sauces with it sometimes, I even cook with it. My boy here's from Venezuela. He's gonna go up to the top of the tree to get a ripe one. Listo or no? Si. So it depends on the water. Pero ese está listo. Si. So let's take a bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. Almost like an apple in terms of the consistency, right? Mm. Oh no, it's more like a pear. Con pera. Have you ever had this fruit before? No. You like it? Love it. Mm. Nice and juicy, man. A lot of flesh. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's very waxy on the side, right? Mm -hmm. Very waxy. Nice color. Soft to sink your teeth in. Oh wow. Rough skin, they call rough skin mainly because of the texture of its skin on the outside. Everything is used in that. Uh, the zest will make a really unique limoncello and this our rough skin lemons will be and brilliant. The correct person for us to try one of this for us yeah. right now. Follow up video. There we go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> if you watch on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Shadow Benny. Shadow Benny. You can have a smell of that. This is here. Shadow Benny. All seasoning. Oh wow. So this is culantro, right? Yeah. Burst leaves. What you had in the chow, you mm. mix this up. We're gonna be using this in the wild meat today. Mm. This is yeah, pretty much all meat. All meat. It quells freshness. It's just so brilliant. So you can see the, the the surface area on the sides are undulated. It's serrated. So it's known as serrated leaf cilantro. Um, some people call it blessed thistle, but here in Trinidad and Tobago we call it shadon Benny or bandania. Correct. False dania. That's what it means. So we have it natural river beet. Everything come here. You could cook at the river. We are not allowed right now, but at the end of the day, you could come, you could cook, and you can have a lovely river bath. I mean, look at that water, crystal clear. Comes from the waterfalls, right? From the mountains, natural springs. Beautiful. Later, maybe you could take a walk in it. I'm planning to just probably take a little dip later on. Yeah, it's it's of it's cool, but it's so the purity of the water. Nothing revives you quite like some good river water. And lovely white oak or Johnny Walker Street on ice in the river to cool you down. We actually have some white oak with us. Correct, and Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, very Venezuelan. <laughs> Keep walking, right? Yes, Keep walking. walking. Looking for sugar cane right there. Cutting it out. So peeling it with your teeth, huh? Mmm. So that's out. Mmm. It's like the ultimate sugar rush right here. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Yeah, so you don't eat this, you just suck it, right? Yeah, you just bite it up and spit it out. Good after practice. You Here's some fibrous, it rubs against uh, whatever plaque you may have present, cleans the enamel, and then you... Mm -hmm. Natural. You got it? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> the tree's really high, he couldn't climb it, right? That guy hit that like a baseball boy. Smellotus. Oh, mm -hmm. mm, look at that nice flush. So that one wasn't good and there's not that many so we're gonna leave it alone We're gonna go back up to the house now. So tell me tell me what do we have? Fish. Check oh Guys look at that it has like it's a big like noodles, right? It's macaroni then you have okay. some root vegetable okra yeah. Oh, it Smells so good Everything Everything I haven't tried this this yet. Not yet. Try it just now. We're gonna try it. Can't wait. This is curry goat we're making here. We're gonna start a season up. We have to get a little cilantro. What they call shy. Right? Onion. And garlic. We have curry. There's a little dash of curry here to season them up. And char masala a little bit. Then we have roasted jeera. Cumin. Some all purpose seasoning. Now I like to use my hands when I get in this. And marinate in here a little bit. So let it settle a little bit in here. This is gonna be amazing. Oh wow. Candace. Hi, what this, do you got here? This is the goat, goat oh curry. God. So you finally get it. I'm curry. finally getting it. Yes, finally. This <laughs> smells. Oh wow, the seasoning. Got a little salt in him. Put a little bit of oil in here. It's to warm up. And we leave it a little couple minutes. This is fireside cooking. So if you guys didn't see my video with the Queen of Chuha, this is like a mud clay stove, right? So it's in a U shape. They just put fire under it, put the pot on top. Here, put the fish in the broth. Look at that, guys. Kingfish. 
in this beautiful broth. So kingfish, and you have all the vegetables, it's like watery broth. It's gonna simmer for a little while. Five minutes, we're done. You gonna put some flavor, what is that butter? Got some water, David. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. So a shot of black label to start the day. Black on Johnny, right, chick. Right. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome in. Ooh, so everybody just takes a shot. I haven't had breakfast. That's my breakfast right there. So we're adding curry. Yep. And that's duck curry. Yeah. Duck goat curry. This curry is one of the best curries. Wow. Nice one. Well done. So you're just browning the sugar for the pilau. So you're browning the brown sugar, right? So you threw it in there, you, the oil. and then you just heat it up to the max, and then you see it's like almost like the top of creme brulee when they nuke it, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's becoming like thick and purple, right? Oh, wow. The light color is beautiful, look at that. Woo! No, that room was crazy, oh wow. Yeah, but you see what's going on with this chicken there? Mm -hmm. See all these sugars? And case any chickens. So as it cooks, it cooks it that that sweetness. Mm -hmm. it, look at the pot there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. So basically it's enriched with that sugar. So we mm -hmm. use like fresh season like shara bani, garlic, onion, pimento, celery, side, season it with black pepper, salt, all peppers. So we leave this to follow white, and then we put in the rice, fry it up, and then we put in the water milk. Oh wow, it's spicy. Yeah. Can say it right away. Can I take a bite? It's not spicy? Yeah. Yes. No, it's good. Yeah. Not the flavor here. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. This is the art here, right? Yeah. Some skill. Yeah. Well, my boy here, he has a knife shop. He's all in the knives. <laughs> wow. Like it? Beautiful. It's almost like a machete, right? It's a machete. It is a machete. So this is what we used to go in a war. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like a white mountain until everything is mixed. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little white mountain in there. You guys have no idea. That flavor just bursting out in the aroma. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. This is one of our staple dishes. You can't come to Trinidad to go now having our pilau. It's really every country has their rice and peas cooked up. You know, the Jamaica, the biryani, India. <laughs> even the jambalaya in New Orleans. We have pilau, rice, pigeon peas, coconut milk, and some good chicken inside here. It's going to be epic. We yeah, have pigeon peas, rice, right? pigeon peas, we have peas, some carrot. Mm -hmm. So we dump it all out now to mix it up nice. Pumpkin. It's natural, right? Everything is adding to this mix. It's just even more of a delicious pilau. Or you say pilau, but in India it's pulau, right? It's a little different in terms of the way they spell it, but. Very similar concept. Black pepper. Yeah. yeah. More salt. So we put in the rice. That's coconut milk. Right. Coconut milk. Mm. Gives that nice coconut flavor. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Setting all the fresh seasoning. Caribbean hot pepper. That's the most important ingredient. When you like, man. What's the pepper? All right. So what we're going to do now is a uh, tippy tambo. So it's a tiny potato. It's a tiny tuber. So it grows just like potatoes. This one it comes in season around this time, and uh, you're going to love them. You peel it and then you eat it. I know we need to salt the water, David. Okay. Just add a little touch of it inside it and some seasoning. Oh, so many unique dishes, huh? So we just add a little bit of minced garlic, minced ginger, minced celery, minced shallow then inside it. Every water. That's how you impregnate flavor. You cover it down and let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour, and you're gonna taste what this. Is. Now we're doing something really special. We're chopping up the iguana. Look at this. The bones are very hard. As you see, after a little force to get it done. Bones are not soft like you want, like chicken bones. Look at a tail. Yeah, it has some, some meat. For this is the first for me. This is like super wild game. Yeah. This little piece here, this is the tester. When you're cooking it and this starts to shred up, it's finished cook. That's when you need to stand there. <laughs> wow, it came out alive. Okay, so you're going to flour it? Yeah. yeah okay. To wash, like it, to wash it, to wash it. Got it. Any fine bones will stink, will drop to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. So he's using flour to clean it. And the reason for that is that back then, you know, the slaves didn't have anything else. So they used this and then it helped rinse through and get rid of some of the bones, right? A lot of fine bones. I'm sure masala, salt, a little bit of black pepper. That beautiful seasoning, huh? Yep. So we have garlic, we have a few different peppers in there. Ginger, um, shadow benny, onion, tomatoes, tomatoes. That's it. 
Okay, so you're also doing a fish curry? Uh, no, not curry. Uh, steam with tomatoes and onions. Okay. Same treatment. He just cleans it, breaks it apart, and the color changes, right? Uh, don't wash it. Overwash it so it gets too... Um, you don't want it to get too... Wash out all the flavor. Just, you know, slightly. Snapper. A uh, snapper? Okay. Yeah, you have a nice bone in the middle. The yeah, spine this we're going right through. Um, on Sunday. Oh, wow. So it's fresh. And we use every part. Bones, head. So that's where all the flavor is, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just salt and black pepper. I can't tell you how good it smells. It smells too good. Smell, yeah, I mean, I smell it from right here. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon, so it breaks down a little bit, right? Yeah. Take a smell. Smell. I would eat it raw, man. <laughs> That's so good. This is going to be the best, right here. Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can all that. All that. Look at that. All those noodles, beautiful noodles, huh? All the vegetables, the fish, the noodles. So this is what we call ground provision in Trinidad and Tobago. Nothing is as good if you don't have it. Dasheen potato, sweet potato, okras, mm -hmm. carrots. This is like a good, a good revival of the night out. This, this is like the the ultimate hangover cure. No, David, I'm making up. Yes, sir. We that. I tasted it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the broth. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Push it a bit towards me. No. Special flavor for you. Okay, so he added some like different type of beautiful lime with some spicy pepper. Oh my god. It enhanced the broth. Oh, the broth is insane. You're gonna mm. need this later. I'm gonna need it for sure. I'm just gonna keep drinking from here. I love how they put in these massive giant cups, right? Little bowls. Not little bowls. Massive bowls. What am I saying? <laughs> it's an explosion of flavor. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. This is actually kingfish. It's our pride fish in Trinidad and Tobago. King Marlin. Mm -hmm. Right here. Inside here, you have sweet potatoes, you have dumplings. You put macaroni inside there also. But what makes the broth so prolific mm -hmm. is the fresh garlic, mm -hmm. the celery, the onions, the shadow and benny, the peppers, the pimentos inside there. It just makes it explosive. Mm -hmm. When you look at the character of the fish. I'll rank this number one. Number, number one, one fish soup of all time. I haven't even touched any of the vegetables yet. The food just gets progressively better and better. It does. Let me just say something. Whenever guys are liming, chilling, talking, drinking, cooking, mm -hmm. The food is just propelled with even more great, with greater flavor. Because usually when alcohol is involved, exactly. it numbs the senses, right? Mm -hmm. So we tend to put a little more seasoning inside there. Mm -hmm. It just makes it more explosive. I mean, I love what he added, the extra little dressing there. It was just basically lime and peppers. My friends, this is ridiculous. I love this right here. Super potato, but it's infused with that broth. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Remember here? We have a lot of huge macaroons, like almost like pasta, right? The best fish soup ever. This is amazing. Careful with this big bone, right? The spine. And it's going. It's the best. The best ever. Dude, this and this sweet sweet potato is ridiculous right here. Alright, I'm gonna drink the rest of this broth. I'm gonna go down to see how they want it. It's cooked. Wow, look at me. Oh, I heat up. <laughs> oh, I heat it up. How you doing, good? Good, man, cool. Oh, I'm ready for that iguana. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff down there for you. I'm going down there. Yeah. Let's see where it is. Hello. Wow, right here. Now this is a cookout, right? This is a lime. You set this up right here right now? Chow! It's what you call the river lime. The river lime, I like it. Curry with um, some jira and black masala. It smells great. It smells amazing. Yeah. Beautiful curry. Oh, right here on the stones. The stones are hot. And that's the iguana, right? Yeah, so I hear some noise. <laughs> so how long does it take to cook this? Maybe an hour. Hour? So what are the ingredients again? We have garlic, we have peppers. Ginger, shadow benny, onion, tomato. There's one thing Mustak does is a really, really great uh, curry iguana. And the beauty about this, obviously, with the fire side, remember we speak about all that great wood. Mm -hmm. That is going to add flavor. Yeah, so it's bamboo, right? Right on two, three stones right here? Three stones, yeah. Natural cooking. Natural cooking. And you cover it. And now, so it's just gonna steam for about an hour, yeah. and then it's done. Yeah. Oh gosh, what else are we doing over there? Armadillo. Let's go. Today we put the armadillo on a truck rim. 
Let's see the best mobile cook, cook it have. Couple pieces of firewood. And your yeah, mobile anywhere, basically anywhere you could cook. So today check out the beautiful scene by the river. So we're going to put on our armadillo today. Curry tattoo. So we got some cumin seeds right there. So we have some green habanero peppers, tomato, onion, garlic, curry powder, jira, and saffron powder. Oh man. I can't smell it. So it's green habanero, you said, right? Yeah, it's gonna be a nice and spicy. It's gonna be good. Curry armadillo. First time for me. This does remind me of like a, a roast, right? Yeah. So there's two types of curries. There's, you know, regular curry, which is a little more moist, and then this is more of a dry, right? Yeah. So it's roasted. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Yeah. Like standing right over the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna add some water? Yeah. It's now that's like a beef roast. I mean, the color, everything, it reminds me of a beef roast from Kerala. Beautiful, nice and clumpy. Armadillo. Yeah, check it out. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. So it takes a nice color. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, we're going to taste it. Yeah. Take a little taste. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that was hot. Mm. Oh, nice curry. It's very light. It's very light. Yeah. It's a mild curry. Last key ingredient. Not much, just like that. Iguana is done. Again. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, so much flavor. Mmm. Oh man, yeah, the milk. It helped out a lot, right? Yeah. Changed everything. Plus, I put some fresh seeds in on the stuff in the end. It's a nice, light curry, and then this is enhanced flavor with yeah. coconut, right? Flavor out of the meat rather than disguise it with a lot of curry. And yeah. yeah. So, I like to taste the flavor of the meat you're cooking. We're gonna make something called yam oil dung, salt fish. This is a seasonal food. So you can go anywhere and harvest this right now. And it's a staple, it's a staple right through. It's a type of a nice tumor. Yeah, it's a nice root vegetable. Yes. Well, it melts down, I guess the consistency of mashed potato. I've tried it going before in Miami, because we have a lot of iguanas, they're invasive. So he said that, you know, it's basically you have the spine, right? So you have the meat on the sides. Oh, wow. Mmm. Also meat. Mmm, very nice. It's nice, light curry. Mmm. Whoa. It's a, a very muscular, right? Mm -hmm. Get in here. This is amazing. Mmm. I thought you were going to have almost no meat. There's a lot here. Normally in Miami, how do you, how, how you have it? Put it on a stick, put it on the grill. That's the tail right there. Mm hmm. Mm. It's not like a crazy curry. More light curry. Mm hmm. More and simple, it, very simple. And when you're done here in the jungle. <laughs> That's some good you go on, boy. I'm going to carry on a diving trip, but no time. That's the thing about our, our fish here in the Caribbean, you know? It has so much character. Snapper, kingfish, grouper. Moose is doing snapper today, and just look at the color of that. You could just tell it's fresh. And the way he cuts up the ingredients in terms of the garlic, the onions, look at the tomatoes, how resplendent it looks. Our food is so brilliant, so colorful, so visually interesting here in the Caribbean that you cannot help but just fall in love with it. Not only with the flavor, but also the way it looks. It's a carnival. I'm getting water straight from the river. Look guys, the armadillo's ready. All right there, look at that. Oh, beautiful, so vibrant. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with the armadillo. Also known as tattoo here in Trinidad. As you can see the shell on the outside, that's where the armadillo folds up, right? Mm -hmm. That's a protective shell. Now it has a layer of fat underneath this that okay. just makes it so delicious and fatty. So there's right under the shell, right? So you're gonna hold the shell like that and okay. it's cool. Mm. So good, right? Mm-hmm. Lots of muscle in here. Yeah. That's where the flavor resides. That's mm. the tail you got. Try a piece with the meat. Oh wow. You can't help just suck out the, the yeah. essence of the curry inside there, right? Mm hmm And right here we have the meat, right? Mmm. Beautiful, right? So I'm gonna roast. Mmm. The creamy. Look at that shell. It's amazing. I love that it's a roast. Because you have all that curry built all around it. The thing about it is that while meat tends to be a gamey mm -hmm. and fresh, but sometimes when you treat it with a good curry, you always kill that sort of freshness. All right, I'm gonna have one more piece. Have to. That's yours. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Organic. Straight to the side. That fat layer right under the shell. That's where it is. That's what flavor resides. 
I'm blown away. I think the iguana is ready. You want to try that? Let's try the iguana, but you know what? Let me get some of that roast right here. You know what they call that sauce? Tell me. Try that. Surwa. Surwa. Yeah. It's a nice thick sauce. Amazing. Surwa. I love this place. And right here we have the iguana. Look at that. And this is more of a light curry. Let's get some of this. So we have the bone like I tried earlier, right? So this is the tail right here. Have some. How many times do you eat this a year? Hmm. Can't check. Yeah, mm. more, a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the iguana like more invasive here, like it is in Florida or no? I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was, I know. Mmm. It's nice and gamey. Mm-hmm. In terms of meat, what it tastes like, I wouldn't say it's like chicken, because it's a little more tender, right? It tastes like chicken, but chicken doesn't taste like it. <laughs> right? I like that, yeah. Wow. I like the milkiness to this um to coconut, curry. Coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Oh, ribs. Look at, look at this right here, the rib. Well, I gotta congratulate you. This is amazing. This is too good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Well, I thought it was gonna be where that's meat. But no, it has a lot of meat. Yeah. And this wasn't a big, big one, no, right? Not a big one, no. Mmm. And this is the ribs? Yeah. Actually the small one and the big one have two two different teeth. Actually tastes like two different animals. Is the smaller one more like like sweet or no? More sweet and more white and when it gets bigger the meat gets a little more darker. The same thing with every animal, right? So when you eat like a veal, you know, baby cow, yeah. it'll be sweeter because obviously it's just been drinking milk. Same thing with lamb, right? Yeah, the meat is more pink and the big cow is uh, more dark color. Yeah. More darker. Wow. I like I the ribs the most actually. I mm -hmm. just sit down and eat the meat. Oh, you yeah, just suck it out, all right? Oh my gosh, that is so good. Just gotta get in here and pull. Right, tiny ribs. Look at this. How tiny the rib cage is. All right, so just rip, break through. No, rip like this with it, with the tip going through the arm. Ribs like that. So. Right, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. Now you're getting meat. <laughs> now you're in the meat. You know what? I'm gonna have to have some more of this one. I want more of both. They're ridiculous. Mm. Wild game in Trinidad. All right, let's go up. Armadillo iguana done. Next, we're gonna try the goat pilau. Tippy time, but to try curry goat, host of other items. I think we have the fish pot already, right? Yeah. And we, of course, we have the snapper that boosts this. It's called tippy tambo. This is what we were boiling earlier on. Ashik did this with the salt, water, as well as the minced garlic and onions and shallow benny inside there. Mm -hmm. Peel it to remove some of the skin. Almost like bread nuts. Yeah. Try it. Mm -hmm. It's like the waxy. Yeah, it's waxy. It's no more of a dense potato. Like a dense potato, yeah. Mm, I have another one. Great snack. Great snack. So just peel it, right? Like full taba. Sometimes you could even put the whole thing in your mouth, chew okay. it up, and just spit out the skin out. Because the skin is indigestible. Pretty much, if you just bite it up, the skin is going to be in your mouth. What's this? Piwa. Let's try one. Let me try one with you. Mm -hmm. Good, it's good. Boil well. Good, boil well. Tastes very good too. Right? Very good. So you gotta peel it, right? Right. Very well. Yeah, it's getting here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm nice. Yeah, man. It's good. Mm. Very nice. Curry goat. Good. Here we go. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Fat, meaty. Oh, the curry. Oh, it's insane. Ooh, still scorching hot. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Right? Mmm. Flavor? So much flavor. We got some beans in here. A little bit of bones. Mm hmm. Yeah. What you missing here now? What do you tell me? Nothing, just some food. <laughs> nice fun. Three. Mmm. Mm. I think the only thing left would be to add the pulao on the right. side right. so you can soak up the gravy, right? What about? Some love the face how the bamboo infused into the goat. You mm. taste in the bamboo? Natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Has that, that smoky taste, taste, right? Yeah. Mm. So you only use bamboo? And obviously you have a lot of bamboo. Yeah. Natural nature. So we use. Dude, you're too much. You're too much. And fresh salad. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. You want to try some more curry goat on top of that? You gave us a spoon, but you know we don't need a spoon. We're no. just going to go in here. Yeah, let's go in. Oh, you have the... Mix up everything with the curry, the pilau. I mean, it's separate, but you can try. Mm-hmm. Say that. Oh, this is so good. Look at that. 
Mmm. And all that rice. Oh my god. So it reminds me of some of the rice dishes I've had in like Latin America. Mm -hmm. You know, a little more mixed, right? A little more moist. Right. Mmm. That sugar at the beginning though. That brown sugar. Right. Feel it throughout. Mm -hmm. Lovely sugar mixed with this. You get all the flavors printed. Oh Curry goat mixed with pilau now. Eat mm -hmm. that. You're not so really supposed it. to use it too, but it's an infusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's good because you're soaking up all that gravy mm -hmm. from the from the curry goat. Right. Now go curry, right? Curry goat. Curry goat. I'm blown away. This is so good. And right here with a nice piece of chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's good. Oh. So nice, tender. Melts away. Oh. Melts away. This is the best. And eat with hands, just like this. Mmm, that's what's all inside. So you have some beans in the curry goat, right? Pork peas, fresh pigeon peas. peas. Pigeon peas. So what's pigeon peas? That's normal peas that you get out of the land here, yeah, we plant. Okay. They call it pigeon peas in Trinidad. <laughs> I'm blown away by this food. Wow. I love this rice dish. Good. Good mix, right? You have some veggies in there. Everything. Salad, fresh salad. Mm -hmm. Everything you have. Mm-hmm. Look at the mountain here. So what do you think? Best curry of all time. Mm. Curry goat. Wow. Mmm. This rice dish, right? So good. So unique. I think that brown sugar. How was the beginning? Yes. No? That's what you have to use, brown sugar, nice brown sugar, just to... Incredible brown sugar. Yeah. And like, right here, literally this is the goat, right? Yeah. So you want some more? No, you can try. No? You overnight. I'm just gonna put some more right there, boom. Mm -hmm. Yes, man, yes. So soft. So good. Mmm, the gravy. Get your hands into that. Food. Yeah, and then I just like move over the rice and mm -hmm. soak it. And I get some cucumber in there, some tomato. You're gonna get some bones in here because of the meat, of the goat, so you just break it up and right. move it, right? By the way, I love your property. Your property is amazing. Like, I would live here, just jump into that river every day, <laughs> early morning. So today I'm here with all the chefs. We're eating everything together. Bruce, what do we got here? Goat belly, so tripe, goat belly curry, right? Somewhat. So we just grab a piece, right? Mm -hmm. Which piece do you like the most? It's all the same, right? All the same. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Nice, top. Mmm. Not so tough, so tasting all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Curry, pepper. It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. This is more like a, like almost like a dry roast. Mmm, -hmm. mm, so good. This is straight up stomach. Nice cutters. You feel like a snack. Mmm, that piece felt like very spongy. Mm -hmm. That piece right here, right there, look at that. Mm -hmm. That is the stomach. That's the outer layer, right? So a lot of people don't like organs. I love it. Stomach, heart, liver, intestine, right. kidney. Give me all of it. Delicious. Mm. It's nice and mellow. It's not too hot. Our last dish is the fish, steamed fish with tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. And onions. So how do we get in? Just go in here, mm -hmm. pull it apart. Is there a lot of bones in here? Just a center bone. Mm. And what fish is this? Snapper. It's a snapper, right? So usually it's kingfish. You also have snapper mm -hmm. in, uh, in Trinidad, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's a buttery fish, man. Yeah. This is so nice, so light. So it's like a light gravy yeah. with tomatoes and onions. Yeah. And garlic as well. Yeah. Simple dish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Simple, healthy. Like if you want to eat really, really healthy here in Trinidad, go for this, right? Because usually we're having so many carbs between doubles, bacon, shark, roadies. Mmm. Oh, I love it. I'm making almost any bones. Raise a little bone right there. Oh, it's so nice and light, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, super light gravy. Amazing. Mm hmm Bum. Wow. Oh, man. This is an amazing fish. Congratulations. The iguana and this? Man, you're a master. And he's not even a chef. Mm -hmm. Not professionally, obviously. <laughs> you're a knife master, right? Mm -hmm. Dumpling, put this on top for breakfast. Yeah. This is an amazing dish, congratulations.
That was our lime up cora, all those great wild meats. I mean, Schulz pilau, fish broth, we did the curry goat, the armadillo tattoo, you did the guana, the goat belly. I mean, it was so much, man. We loved it. This is what we do here in Trinidad and Tobago. We just chill out, enjoy each other's company. Good food, good people, good culture, and of course, good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Tobago. Let's go.